We wrap it all up on Wednesday night with the ninth, and it is over the 1200 metres. Class four event, Durham Star, extra eight pounds for his first up win, Lyle Hewitson and Douglas White. Harmony and home, Zach has been on board for both of his two victories. Sugar Sugar is plus three pounds for Alfie's claim on that win last time over Touch Faith. Riverviews has had two trials. Fighting Star, first up from a bleed. Happy Tango goes forward. Loris goes forward, but couldn't lead last time. And we've got uh, Happy Matted Door, who's coming off a trial, a fourth behind Saquin, beaten three and a half lengths. And Happy Tango is going to cross Laura's again, Tom. Yeah, he should, but Loris does have the advantage of for gate number one, so he just might be able to kick up there as well for Antoine Hamlin. Uh, fighting star should be handy, you'd think, from his draw, and it looks a little tricky, Paul, for a young victory. Yeah, just with that pace underneath him there. Uh, Harmony and home from an inside draw won't be far away. River Views has got a bit of uh, pace as well, and uh, he, he should be able to kick up there as well. All right, but it is an interview that we're going to start with Alexi Bedell, and he rides Touch Faith. Alexi, uh, Touch Faith is your last ride on Wednesday night. Um, good to have you back in action, of course. Um, he's a horse that you rode last time, and he, he went really well. Yes, that's correct. Um, he, I think he won quite well in Class 5, and he stepped up to Class 4 at the end of the season. He's had a tough run. I was free wide, no cover, but the horse was comfortable like this, and he, he hit the line quite strong, so I'm confident he... It should, be, it should be improving enough to run a good race. And just given what we know on that last performance, obviously the handicap has left him off this mark of 44. Do you, do you feel he can be competitive in what looks an open race? I think so. I think so. As I, just, as I mentioned, the, the, it was a tough run last time and he, he did a good job. So I hopefully can repeat that performance with a smoother and, and, and easier run for him and, and hit the line strong. Uh, just from Barrier 5, so where, do you, where do you see yourself sort of settling uh, once the gates open? Well, I, I presume it's all about the tempo of the race and how we begin from the gate, you know. Uh, you want to be as close as possible from the fence, I would say, and uh, and see see how it begins. Obviously, as I say, great to have you back. You've, you've sat out the last couple of meetings, so obviously it'd be nice to, to get a winner on the board there. Um, just looking ahead, um, now Wellington trial this morning, um, I'd like you to describe that trial for me because it, it looked very impressive. Yes, it was. It was. Um, I came back from a from far behind and the horse hit the line very strong uh, he was he was very concentrated and he he runs a very good good try do you feel he's got stronger as he's got older this horse i mean we, we know him to be very good um but do you, do you feel he's improved on last season well it, it's hard to say because he he's got a lot, a lot of uh, personality he's not giving everything in the morning so it's hard to judge but he he's been very impressive last year during the races and hopefully he can be at least uh as good as he was last year. You mentioned that personality, and before we saw him head out for the trial, he, he was showing just a little bit of that. He was he was quite fresh and well this morning. Was that um, sort of characteristic for him, or was, or was that yes. something that sort of caught you a bit by surprise? Yes, definitely. He's always a bit like uh, a bit funny uh, when he's fresh at the beginning of the season. I, I'm always very cautious because he can uh, he can spin around very quickly. When will we see him back on track, Alexi? Um, you and Richard, have you come to a plan with him going forward? Well, I would. I'd like to think that he's going for the for the Group Two, yeah. uh, 1200. I don't remember the date, but yeah. I assume he's going to go there. Alexi Bedell there on uh, his rise, Touch Faith, and also the champ Wellington on the comeback trial for his first start this season. Durham Stars already had a start this season. Tom, this is him winning first up, and Harmon in home runs fifth. Yeah, he was uh, about midfield at the end, and he really uh, picked them up strongly here in the straight to, to, to Durham Star. Harmon in home, Paul's had uh, a couple of chances uh, recently, and he's going to get another one, I think, here from Barrier 3. Oh, definitely. I've, I've definitely included him. He's, he's a horse who's well rated as well. Uh, his last win uh, came off uh, a rating of 64 and he's now down to this 55 rating. So, look, he's definitely in for me. I know this one's in too. Sugar, sugar, you've been taken by his trial. Yeah, I love the song too. But the, I think this horse um, is going really well. He, he really improved at the back end of last season. Was a strong win when he did beat Touch Faith, his arrival. And I really like this trial. I thought he hit the line nicely. And he did miss the start last time, which made uh, that victory last start uh, even more impressive. Uh, no pressure on a, a wet or weather uh, track uh, this morning at the, the trials he stayed on. It's Huda Butter behind him and the, the gold there. He was really pushed out, so I'm happy to avoid him. Yeah, he's had a start to Huda Butter and then uh, went back to the trials and finished down the track in that. Now, we'll come to you, Paul, for this one up at Chung Fa. Young victories wide on the speed map. Yeah, I just wonder with that pace underneath him, they'll be 
trying to push him out of the gate, but you've got Happy Tango and Loris. I mean, uh, um, you know, right underneath him, he's drawn barrier eight, so just looks a bit tricky. He likes to go to the front, as you can see from this trial, and he did push out. River Views, look, he was really pushed out as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Um, comes out of the race that our class act has come out of and uh, won since as well. That was the uh, Compassion Super Race at the end of last season. I put him in if they can ride for some luck and hopefully get in, maybe. Now, you don't need to pull faces, Paul. I went to you first because Tom's going to make a case for Fighting Star. That's why you got Young Victory first up. Tom, fighting star. Uh, fighting star here. He's, he's trialled well, uh, this horse, I thought. He's coming back from a, a bleeding attack, uh, bled from both nostrils uh, back on the, the 19th of June. But it was a good, strong trial. We know these bleeders, Paul, are the time to catch them first up and Dennis Ship's in some form at the moment. Yeah, the trainer's going well and he's drawn nicely in barrier four. So I think he should get a nice enough run and he's uh, come up a decent price as well. It made sense up here. I try and just <laughs> go one for one. All right, selections for the last. Uh, sugar, please. sugar on uh, top here for me. Uh, I just really like this. Um, this, this the way this horse has trialled and finished off the back end of last season. Really well rated. Harmony and home. Uh, touch faith. He should get a nice run back on the rail. And look, I'm going to put Durham Star in. I know he's up those eight pounds, but he deserves it. It was a strong win from him. Three, two, eleven, and one. You'll stick with the Fighting Star in this uh, final race of for the night at Happy Valley. He went really well two starts ago. Third behind Pleasant and Devon was second to a lucky quality. And there was money for him behind Lucky 8 last time out, but he bled, trolled nicely. Sugar, sugar, harmony in home and uh, young victory uh, makes it in as well. So 6, 3, 2 and 9. And there it is, the preview for race number nine. The preview for all races are now done. We race on the A course and the first of those nine races gets underway on Wednesday night at 6.45.